What's up, everybody? How you doing? And welcome. Really tough times for the entire cryptocurrency market investors, you and me, but especially the Terra Luna holders. I mean, easily an example of whales dumping the price of Terra Luna right now. Six dollars, six dollars and thirty something cents flat. That was for a long time for I mean, I'm talking 48 hours or less holding at that consistency consolidation level and then dumping the price 8 p.m. yesterday. Now the price is four dollars plus. Now, what is the warning I'm giving you to all the Terra Luna holders? Be careful because probably the price is going to go down. And I know this is crazy, but can it go down to a dollar? And I'm not referring right now to Luna Classic LUNC. I'm referring to the new Luna, right? Which I've been in the past in the couple of videos that I made with you know, I mean, the new Terra Luna, I've been telling you, you, I mean, you know, probably the new Luna, in my opinion, could be the better one for long term, but definitely not the right time in a bear market to buy. Because, I mean, I think what we're seeing right now, guys, and this is just me telling you, right? You can tell me in the comments if you, if you disagree, but people are still in, in a lack of trust to do quant to Terra Luna. And I can see that on the examples on Twitter that I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. But I mean, you can see that there's lack of trust, lack of communication. I don't know if you saw, but Duquan changed its profile on Twitter to private. And I mean, there's an article explaining that. And also there's another article that I'm going to show you that says that he's unlikely to face criminal charges here in the United States. So not having enough communications from him, maybe an AMA where he can go to the community and talk because I've been trying to look for that and there's nothing from Duke one like that anywhere from Terra Luna that really puts people at, I mean, on the fence and seeing this, how you projected a project, of course, 1 billion circulating supply, it started in dollars, then went to $10, $19 stop. Then you see the $10 there, which this was, I have to close this for us. This was the end of May. $10. You're telling me three days later, four days, four days later, boom. I mean, completely down more than 50%. Really not what people are looking right now because capital, cash is king right now. We need to keep our cash protected because we don't know where Bitcoin is going to go. We don't have a crystal ball. So let's go ahead and discuss. Go ahead and smash the like button for me, everybody. Subscribe to the channel if you want more updates like this. My name is Oscar Ramos. I'm happy to see you once again. So everybody, whales dumping the price of Terra Luna. Nothing surprising for sure. I mean, this doesn't happen. This, this doesn't happen just because at 8 p.m. everybody like, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell. No, this is because somebody holding a lot of this to say, you know what? Things are going to get even worse. And that's, again, the warning that I'm trying to give you, right? I mean, for sure, I can be wrong. For sure, things can go all the way skyrocket to the moon. There's going to be some price pumps here and there. I know. There's going to be like right here or right here or right here. Like we're going to see some price pumps, but the problem is are not the price pumps. The problem are how the trend is going to continue. And right now the trend is continuing looking bearish, right? If I show you LUNC, Terra Luna Classic, pretty much the same thing happened, right? We have one, two, three, four, four, nine, right? Four zeros, nine. And then right now it's four zeros, eight. And slowly but surely it's going to probably continue going down. Now this one is completely cooked, right? I know people are really burning Terra Luna and I can show right now more than 700 and almost 80 million. But guess what? If you compare that to Shiba Inu, which was also in the trillions, they have billions already burned. So there's a big difference. There's a big gap. It's definitely a lot. It's a great job on the LUNC holders, but I mean, we need way more, right? So just letting you know that reality because it is what it is. But when it comes to this, People are dumping the price, and this is, of course, the price, the, the, the one that I was able to find, but you can see that $19, $18, $17, and then dumping, and then coming back, and then dumping again. And, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Bollinger Band so you guys see it. This is pretty much what it seems like, right? Pumped, then massive crash, and then pump again, and then it's consolidation and crash again. In my opinion, this looks to me as something that if we find a, a pump that passes the error side at one hour, um, four hours, you got to be selling at that time. This is a trading cryptocurrency. This is not, and I'm talking the new Luna right here, right? But I'm sure this can also apply to the uh, to LUNC. I mean, easily can apply as well. So it applies to both. If you see them up like here, passing the RSI, 
my friend, not financial advice, but you do whatever you want with your money. I wouldn't be holding any of this. I'll be selling, cashing out, and then leaving. So once it's down again, attack once again. Because during this bear market, it's fair game. We don't know where things are going to go. That is the most reality, most realistic thing I can tell you right now, right? So that's exactly what happens with whales dumping the price. It is what happens, my friend. Terra Luna price down 23%. It's 30% right now. It's just on the on, on, on that range. Duke one two it goes, goes private now. It pretty much go, go, goes ahead and explains that probably it's because, I mean, a lot of people follow him, the harassment, right? But probably the reason is that the large volume of harassment that the founder uh, is receiving, which, I mean, to be honest with you guys, we know that was expected, right? When you make a lot of people lose their money because of an error, because of the stablecoin collapse, algorithm stablecoin. So this is what it looks like right now. You, I mean, it has a briefcase, the private, and you can still see everything, which is good right now, real time. Uh, but it, of course, you cannot send DMs or anything like that. So, I mean, that is what it is. But it is private according to this. And I'm sure that Duke One is extremely tired. However, you do really it will be awesome to have an AMA with him very, very quickly. Now the community on Luna, I'm emotionless towards any asset I buy from. Uh, I buy for money. Luna is not an exception. It's just a hint to increase transparency and be less do centric. Right? They want more transparency. Luna collapsed again. I lost huge money again. So, guys, warning! Like I wouldn't be personally getting into luna right now wait it out for a while wait it out that's just my personal recommendation that goes for me right but a burning great idea but just i mean if you're like down me i mean i'm just holding it makes no sense for me to sell but what do you think you can disagree if you want definitely there's gonna be a lot of people saying buy luna right now buy luna right now but i already bought the luna dip i got crushed trying to avoid that mistake once again, it is fine. We don't know the future. It is what happens, my friend, right? Duke one unlikely to face criminal charges in US uh, legal expert says, and I know a lot of people want him to be prosecuted or, or like, held accountable. And I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from, right? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, when you lost at a billion plus project and you're trying to recover that with another project and it's already losing people's money is not really what they want and then whales they want to cut their losses and sell like what we're seeing right now in this video now 700 782 million luna lunc burn it's still closing to 1 billion not there yet but it's not doing anything to the price barely one percent burn crypto fears at an all-time high 10 it is what it is, my friends, and the prices are one less than 130 global market cap. Oh, baby, this is exactly what we're looking right now. Fear, very high. The prices of everything consolidated on you know, the big al uh, the, the big altcoins and, of course, Bitcoin and Terra Luna going much down. That is my warning. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and smash the like button, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Thank you for watching.